Oh, gold. Eh, they, they call it gold, guys. Gold. It just looks like a simple stone, like an ordinary stone. <laughs> I'm telling grandma, grandma, you can tell the kids who are not serious with education to be serious, but she's saying there are kids whom you tell and they are not listening. Eh? So, so. What's up, what's up, beautiful people? Uh, welcome to today's video. This is Kibe, or why not Kibe? And uh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm coming straight from this particular location. As you can see, the beautiful hills over there. Everything very nice. Yes. And this is where we were staying. Uh, this is the area we were staying. It's been a quite a good time. We had some good time. But one problem. <laughs> Network was quite a very huge issue. and. I didn't manage to upload my video yesterday because the video, after three hours, it was 2%. So imagine, it didn't finish. The network was so poor, the network is so poor. So it's all good. The video will be out today, probably because I'll change my location and I'll get to where uh, uh, there's a good internet and we'll be able to upload. But anyway, welcome to today's video. Uh, today will be quite a very, very interesting day. Hope you all are doing good from your side. Hope you're having an amazing time and uh the time here is around 12 um in the in the pm now 12 in the pm and we are about to head somewhere very very interesting so we are still deep in the Kerio valley uh we are in a location called emsea that is quite a deep location in the Kerio valley and i want us to go much deeper because I'm interested in getting those people from this deep place plus the very interesting site over there which is a mining site so we want to visit a mining site today which is called Flospa mining site so I don't know what is being mined I don't know is Flospa a mineral yes maybe it's a mineral but I know that this 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 raw material for making things like ceramics and those things so it will be quite interesting we go there we get the interesting phenomena we get to learn about what is happening there and we get to meet the people around there. So welcome to today's video guys. Kindly ensure you like, comment and uh, share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to this amazing channel. Yes guys. And Antarctica has been nice. Antarctica has been chilling on a very good shed. Uh, I think she had a very, very fabulous night. And uh, all is good. Yes guys. Do you guys know some beautiful, beautiful changes that you're trying to make? We're trying to implement um, some good changes uh, in everything that we do. <laughs> so yes, Antarctica is right here. We're pinned. Uh, I, I haven't carried all my luggage because we'll go there and then we'll come back through here and I'll have to take the other piece of luggage. Yes, so we're ready to leave. So let's go together to this amazing site. So I don't know, we'll either start by seeing the people or we'll start by seeing the area. So get ready with me and let's go to this amazing, amazing place. Straight from the Kerio Valley place. So we still have like two days in the Kerio Valley. And um, after this, we're gonna show you, after this uh, after this video of today, the next video will be very interesting because we'll be uh, seeing some very, very beautiful scenes and nature. So get ready for this and hope you like all the videos that we do. So yes guys, see you in this next bit as we roll, yes. What's up guys, so we are currently leaving this location called Sego. Sego is where we've been. And uh, I want us to head to a place called Flospa, which uh, is a mining site. And uh, it's quite deep in the village, deep in the jungle, as you can see, this is the road there. So we'll be able to see the people around that area, at the same time we'll be able to see the mining sites. So let's go and see what's popping over there. So let's go. Very good road.
still on our way there guys we are really deep inside I explained yesterday guys how the Rift Valley is a is a huge thing <laughs> you know that starts all the way from uh, Lebanon to South East Africa which is places like Malawi you know but now the, the name of the Rift Valley the Great Rift Valley the name was really captured by this side of uh, uh, the Eastern Africa which is these ones but ideally the Great Rift Valley starts all the way from Lebanon and runs all the way down to uh, the south east of Af the South Africa, the south east of Africa, you know, and it's full of geographical phenomena, full of a lot of things, lakes, mountains, rivers, and a lot of those things. So these are among the we are in the Rift Valley right now, currently, of course, and you still enjoy the views and you see the place is quite amazing and quite beautiful. The geographical phenomena is so stunning. Yes, guys. So we are heading to Flospa Mines. Flospa Mines. And the roads are so good. The roads are quite good. I think it's because of the mine. And the mine is owned by a private firm. A private company. Yes. But I'm sure they... Uh, uh, they are in collaboration in a way or the other with the government. Yes. And again, in our way, we'll be having a very interesting uh, phenomena, uh, which is a dam. For my fellow Kenyans, they are very, very familiar with this dam. The dam is called Kimwarer Dam. Kimwarer Dam was one of the dams that was is being created or is being built. So we'll go there and even also see the situation on the ground. So let's progress our journey as you guys enjoy the beautiful views of this part of Rift Valley. I'm sure we are in a different village now. We came from MCA. Now we are in a diff we are heading into a different location. I'll let you know the name of the villages as we get inside. Like right now, there's a small shopping center over here. It's close to 15 kilometers from the main road. And this area is called... Uh, Cessia. This place is called Cessia. This is a shopping center. Cessia. Yes, guys. So let's go deep inside and see. Esi Kaburbok. To read this sign post. Let's read this signpost. You are entering Kenya Flospa Kenya Flospa active mining area. Caution. Speed limit 40 kilometers per hour. No loitering. So from here we are now entering the mining area. So they're saying we keep 40 kgs. We are now entering the mining area, guys. Yes. So let's go and see what's popping in the mining area. They're saying we keep 40 kilometers per hour. And no loitering around. We 
we've been given directions a eh, 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 very interesting phenomena here let's look at what is happening here I just seen something interesting here oh my god maybe you can't go beyond this point you can go by foot and see what's happening here looks really stunning okay <clears throat> Let's see what's happening here. Hey guys, welcome to the Rift Valley. I think here they've just been uh, mining a lot of, not mining, but excavating a lot of, a lot of, uh, Maram, Maram for the roads and stuff. See, there's a track line here. Eh, eh, guys, isn't this interesting? Wow, wow, so big. I think they, they've been getting Maram for the roads here. Wow. <laughs> this is like literally cutting the mountain in between. I guess these are how those hills look inside. E, 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 e. Very interesting phenomenon. You see? E. Very interesting. Wow. Let's turn it here, you see. Oh, there's water in. Oh, wow. Eh, this is interesting. Wow. Wow. Where are we, guys? We are in the inside the Kerio Valley. Very interesting phenomenon. I'm quite sure this is what they've been doing here. Because a lot of uh, trucks usually come from here. So, I really think... This is a site where they used to get uh, uh, maram for the roads. Yes. You see, there are still car trucks. Probably some cars still come over here. Or some vehicles. Okay, let's go and see. <laughs> I saw a municipal office, which is a county office. I think they're the ones in, are in charge of taking, collecting money from the trucks that carry all these things. You know? Wow. Yes. Wow. Even sand. Wow. See the water is collected up over there. You might even be surprised that we have 
crocodiles over there. Hey guys, where are we? I didn't expect such a... What's up guys? We are deep in the Kiriyu Valley. Here when you even scream, people will hear you out there. <laughs> hey, this phenomenon is so interesting. Isn't it? Yes. Alright guys. I think we can proceed. To the Flosper mining site. At least we've seen something interesting. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah, I think here, long ago, they've just been uh, harvesting, I mean, not harvesting, is it harvesting? Like just extract, ex extracting these stones and these marams so that they can be put on the roads. And that is that. Alright, guys, uh, you can head on to the next. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> How will they know that we arrived here? You know, and some good pictures. Yes. Rift Valley. Yes. All right, guys. We can be heading out. Look at how the waters are behaving. The waves. All right, let's head back. Hope you've enjoyed that beautiful view. Seems deserted. It seems like they stopped uh, getting their maram from here. Yes. Let's go back. Let's go to Flosper Mines. Alright guys, that is that. Let's proceed. Remove these stones. <laughs> Don't have issues with my tire. As you can see, this is Kimore Primary School. You go that way. Someone is betting over there. Crocodile, be aware of crocodiles. Crocodiles have been sighted in this area. Attacks cause injury or death. Washing vehicles in the river is prohibited. And that's the river we are supposed to go in. Crazy. I don't know if that is the way to the mine. Let's ask this guy. All right, guys. What's up, guys? Uh, we've arrived at the Flosper Mines, and apparently, wait, this is not the main route. So that's the main route. So one, the site where we were, we were is basically the mining site. That's that's where the mine, they mine, they they take the stones. They took those. They, that's where they get the raw materials. Those big chunks of stones we saw and thought that it's maram for the roads. No, those are now mat raw materials for this particular factory here called, or this mining site called Flosper. So this Flospa is a, is a privately held company at the moment and uh, it was founded in the year 1971, you know. And uh, let, me, let, me, let me take you guys there and then I can tell you a little bit of history about this place. So let's go and see. Flospa Mining Sites. So let's go and see. Uh, currently it's not functional because it was closed. So let's go and see. I cannot use this bridge because it's full of water. So let's go and see the Flosper Mines. And I, 
get to tell you a bit of its history so keep it locked so this is the bridge that we are supposed to cross do not sit on the bridge rails Hey, there was even a, a gas station here a long time ago. Guess it belonged to the factory. So basically, this is uh, the Kenya Flospa um, mining, which was established in the year 1971. And. Uh, uh, its headquarters is in this particular place called uh, Kimwarer. This place is called Kimwarer, which is in Elgeo Marakwet County. Okay. Uh, and the company is closed right now. Um, and this this particular mining area serves the whole world, you know. And uh, the main person or the main CEO of this particular place was someone called uh, Charles Field Masham who was the chairman and who was the chief executive officer of this particular mining site so you see it's quite deserted right now uh, so it, it, it mines a product called fluorite so fluorite I think it's the main material for raw material in making things like ceramics making things like refrig refrigerators you know and uh, in the year 1967, uh, uh, actually in a small history is that uh, in the year 1967, uh, uh, the Flosper deposits were first discovered around this area. So let's just have a look at this. Let's just peep over here. These are Kenya Flosper Central Offices. These are its central offices. So they're saying Kenya Flosper Company Limited, Central Offices, Official Hours, Monday to Friday, but it was closed. I just see people chilling over here now. Sasa. Mm -hmm. The Central Offices used to be here. So in the year 1967, Flosper were discovered here. And uh, of course, just a minute. Uh, so it was discovered in this Kerio Valley, the Flospa. You can see the mines over there, the, the, the company itself. It was closed, it's quite deserted, but it's yet to be revived. Yes, guys, it's yet to be revived. So, yeah, the, first, the, the deposit was first discovered, discovered here in, in Kerio Valley in the year 1967. And uh, let's find a place where I can tell you a bit of history. Let me find a place where I can stop and then I show you as I tell you what is happening or what was happening here. Yes. It is a store, main store. You cannot enter inside. So it was closed in the year 2010 or 2010. The same caution. To avoid injuries or fatalities, please be aware uh, whatever from the dams. Uh, they are uh, uh, they are hard at our own risk. Eh. Okay. I don't think there's much around this area. But you can come and just see the other areas and see. Sasa. Oh, there's a plant up there. I don't think there's much you can do here. You can just go back. Basically, I guess that is it. So 
so you can't really see the inside part of it <laughs> they could let it be a tourist attraction site right now this is a carpenter's workshop so i just want to stop somewhere and tell you guys a brief history of this particular place Alright guys, uh, welcome to this particular place. This is now the flow spa inside the, not really inside but uh, along the fence of this mining company which is a very famous mining company in the world which it serves, it used to serve the whole world because it used to produce its, its, its minerals and sells it to, expose it to many countries like India, Italy, those big big countries, you know. So a, a simple history that I saw earlier, read earlier, is that um, in the year 1967, of course, uh, the flow spa deposits uh, were first discovered here in the Kerio Valley, and uh, the Kenyan government established the flow spa company of Kenya to exploit them on a large scale, you know. And the company went into receivership um, in the year 1979, you know. As a Kenya flow spa, as, as, as Kenya flow spa, another government-owned company bought the assets and took over the operations. You know, and in the year 1996, that is when um, this Canadian businessman called uh, Mr. Charles Field Marsham acquired this particular company uh, in the year 1996, and um, uh, it was part, it was part of a government reform effort to cooperate uh, to cooperate I mean privatization. You know, sometimes when government uh, is not able to run some companies or some farms. It gives it lets it brings in privatization in that it can be the company can be privatized but I think there's still some whatever they do with the government yes so this one went into privatization and um, it went into a 20 year lease with the government and this particular company uh, sits on a very huge land of size of land it's 3664 acres it goes all the way around like this. These are the offices, you know, these are the offices of this particular company. Maybe I'll try and show. Yes. So, uh, that is that. And uh, uh, the Kenya Flospa stopped its mining operations actually in February 2009. It was operational since 1996, that time, until the year 2009. That is when it stopped its operation. As you can see, it's, it seems a little bit deserted. But it came back to business. It came back to business until I think the year 2015, thereabout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it stopped its mining operations in the year 2009 because of economic down, downturn. That is what they said. And it laid off a lot of workers because this particular place used to employ everybody in this particular community. A lot of people in this community. So I guess the, the community was even really, really affected because I think it was their main, their main it just boosted the economic uh, way of living and stuff because it was it created a lot of employment in this uh, local area and the year it was laid off that is the year 2009 approximately 170 people were laid off work here <laughs> you know 170 people were laid off, or close to 200 actually it was around 190 workers were laid off you know and the operations were scaled down from well, from the big operations, it was scaled down to now a minimal operation. And uh, so, yeah, it laid off 190 workers. That is close to 200 in the year 2009, you know. But it, re it resumed its operations again in the year 2010. And uh, the operation was scaled down. Uh, it was scaled down in the year 2015. Uh, and the company again laid off a lot of um, workers. It laid off almost 80 workers. You know, and it started attempting to sell its existing stock now. I think it was now running, it was now difficult to operate and they were trying to sell off their, their remaining stock, you know. And in the year 2016, uh, the company announced that it could stop operations again. And because of, they were saying that it, because of weak, weak, whatever, weak flow spa demands, they were saying that the demands of flow spa in the world is becoming quite on the low. So the company stopped its operation in the year that 2016. Uh, again, the remaining workers who were there, around 300 were all laid off, you know. Uh, and the company's lease expired because they were in a 20-year lease. It expired in the year 2018, which was not renewed, you know. So in the year 2018, uh, uh, 
control of the company's mine and various assets were reverted to back to the Kenyan government. And from there, from January 2018, it, it was announced that the Kenyan government um, will set up a task force to see the compensation of over 4,000 landowners who are displaced from this particular place because they had to displace a lot of people to make place for this particular uh, mining area, you know. And uh, whoever there have been disputes among locals about the mode of compensation, some, some seeking alternative lands, others demanding money, as well as just disagreements around. So probably I think that is some of the factors that really lead to delaying progress of this particular mining company. So it's quite, it's quite an interesting history about this particular place. And maybe you don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that there is plans to revive it. So I don't know. But people do need ceramics. People need a lot of things. So it can still be opened, maybe by, run by the, the main government, or it might be privatized again. But according to how deserted it is, I don't know how many, how much <laughs> it might be needed to revive this particular um, factory. You know. So it's quite a, 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 a, a thing and I don't know, what do you guys think? Because I think it was really a very, very huge, uh, uh, it should, it played a very huge role in terms of employment to the locals and also development of these areas, you know, and a lot of many other things. So tell me what you think guys about this particular Flosper Mines, you know, that's a brief history. That's a brief. If, if you know, if you know something, that's what I read. If you know something about it, kindly let me know. Let me know. What do you think? Have you ever heard of this particular Frostpa company? Have you ever have you ever heard of this mining site? You know, but well, it's a government-owned company. Yes, yes, guys. All right, guys. So that's been a brief history of the Frostpa mines and. Uh, it's quite interesting and uh, yeah and it used to have a lot of high production rates they say they used to produce up to they actually in the year around 2011 they used to produce like 108,000 tons of this uh, flospa and then they actually up to up to 120 tons of 100 120,000 tons of flospa <laughs> imagine guys to me it's quite uh, it's quite productive maybe i don't know if the raw materials are still available up to now the company can still run and uh, in terms of environment it is said that they used to comply with um what we call the national uh, environmental management authority of this country which is called NEMA. so they used to observe things like recycling waste waste disposal or waste dumping and all those things so i don't know I feel like this place should be revived because it really played or plays a very huge role in this place. So this is the Kenya Flow Spark Company Limited, mine offices, Kimwarer, Kiryo Valley. So Kimwarer is somewhere. I want, to, I want to ask of where the Kimwarer Dam is and then we we'll see if you can get there actually. Because it's a very famous dam and this area is called Kimwarer. So I'm really interested to seeing, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing that Kimwarer Dam. So what do you guys think? Kindly drop the comment section. I mean, drop a comment on the comment section. Tell me what you think. What do you think of this particular Flosper company, which was a very, very huge company? You know, it used to actually make even revenue of up to fourteen million dollars. It actually made a revenue of fourteen million dollars in the year, is it 2011 thereabout? Imagine 2011, making a revenue of fourteen million dollars. Hey, this is a big company, but. This is a big company, I mean, it should come back to life. So, yes, that is Flow Spa. Flow Spa. So let's go and see if I can ask a, bit, a few questions in these offices and see. So let's go. All right, guys, I'm here. I've been with these beautiful security people here. And I'm, I've been given an example. This is now the Flow Spa. This is now the stone. looks different and it's mine from the place where I showed you guys the place where we thought it was maram unajua nilienda huko kwa ile mali maram iko nikadhani ni mali ya kuchimba maram ya barabara kumbe nilikuwa natoa hizi vitu huko 
Oh. Oh. Gold. Eh, they, they call it gold, guys. Gold. It just looks like a simple stone, like an ordinary stone. So you gonna you gonna have value. In also you gonna pay some zuri. Eh, it has some value. I can sell it and get some good money. <laughs> so this is what is used to make ceramics, make a uh, re refrigerant those type of materials that used to make those things like sinks those things this is all ceramics the one so now we have tiles and we have to yes guys that is it we've been able to reach here and we got the gold we got the gold <laughs> all right guys so let's head back i'm being told kimore dam is far from here so i cannot go there Ah, sick. How many square? Square? Hey, Asan. Yes, I've been given. <laughs> it's mine now. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, don't ane. Eh, 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 eh. Guys, I've been given the precious mineral. This one I'll keep it. This one will be for keeps. Eh, that this is significant that we got here. We got the floss for mine. So it's quite. Quite interesting and quite nice. You see? So, and this is the forest of this place. So I'm told the dam is quite far. You cannot reach on the dam. So, just have to go back. Yes. Alright guys, I think we can now go back. Uh, it's been quite an adventure. It's been quite a good place. We've learned something about the Kimwari Dam. The Kim, not the Kimwari Dam. The full of spa mines and that is it so let's go back let's see if you can see one or two people of this community and then that should be it for today so Kimore is a very famous name here in Kenya because of a dam that was supposed to be constructed but a lot of things happened maybe it's more of political I won't really get into that and yeah we we're interested to go and see how it was but I'm told it's really far but the area is still Kimore, same as here, so I'm wondering how is that. Anyway guys, uh, that is it. We got our precious stone, which used to fetch Kenya or this particular company up to 14 million US dollars in revenue. Imagine. Importing to India and Europe. So it was quite a good deal, isn't it? And the place where we thought the, the marams were mined, or extracted, that is where they extracted these stones and they come and process it in this company and export them. Yes. So that's the simple story of this Flospa mining company in Kenya. I was really interested to be here, I've never been here. So let's go back now and see whom we got to see. So, oh, she wants to give us another stone. Hey, they want to give us another one. Let's take it, that's precious stones. This one will keep it in our house in the future. She's giving us another one. She's giving us another stone. So let's go see. Another flow spa, not another stone. <laughs> another flow spa. This is what they use a lot of machineries and equipments to find and as we have been given. So why not? Yes, let's see. I don't think you can just find it on the ground. It's quite different. You can see it has some purple colors and some black. Hey! Intaweka kwangu ikae milele. Eh, ai. Kabisa. She's saying in our tradition, you know I'm also Keyo. So they say you cannot give somebody one thing, you give them two. So I have two now. Kongo. So 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 kanya bimana TV. So so. Nguje. Kila kitu hata kama kuna shida unaniambia. So so acha nilete. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> they want me to give them a checkup because I'm sure here now. Uh, they want really. They, it's not easy to get into a health facility. So I've told them what I do, and they are ready for the checkup. So let's give them the health checkup. Yes, guys. And we have another precious flu spa. This one we'll keep in our. We'll go wash it and keep it in our house forever and ever. This one is a precious stone. A flu spa. I. Maybe I should not be excited, maybe as maybe finding another precious stone. But it means something. It means something. It really means something. So 
Let's have them and let's go see them. So these ones, where do we keep them? Let's keep them here. I wish it can be washed and refined. Precious stones. Let's put it in here. It can also be a weapon. I hit your head with a floss pump. <laughs> if, you, if you mess with me, I hit your head with a floss pump. Yes. Alright, let's go see them now. Yes, guys, we are here. And this is a, a beautiful girl here. <laughs> Say my hello, Salimi Oji. Yes. So, the guards are saying let them remove their security jerseys so that it doesn't really affect them. So, yeah. That is it, the reverse. Yes. Alright, so awesome. I see company, I company, I'm good to send me. I'm going 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 to どうもあっ All right, beautiful people. Uh, we've been here at Flospa Village. This is Flospa Village in Flospa Mining Company, where we had come to see what is happening. And it's quite a very good, serene place. And we've been able to see a couple of people <laughs> because they don't want to be seen on camera so much. So yeah, we've seen a couple of them. It's been a good time, and they're all doing good. Their health is very, very okay. They have no underlying illnesses. They have no conditions. They are absolutely perfect. It's only one of her whom I've given her uh, some esomeprazole because she has hyperacidity. But currently, no. But she just asked for a few tablets in case it comes on her way. So I've given her at least four tablets and that is taken once a day. So that will save her for a, for a couple of time, for a period of days. So that is it, guys, from Flospa Village or Flospa Mining Company and Flospa Village. So we'll still progress as we go back to where we came from. And if we meet people to see, we'll see. If we don't, well and good. So at least we've seen a couple of people, but we'll try and see at least two people, three people before we call it a day. So hope you've enjoyed it so far. Can you like, comment, and share this particular video? And keep it locked, guys. Thank you. Antarctica is here. Tripped out a couple of things. You know, but it's time to put them together and head on to the next destination. So, yes. I see you see what I They're really excited about the bike. So, I'm trying not to cover their faces. 
mana me mana me your face sura yako so they don't want to be captured their face so they are really fascinated with the bike look look at the other one with the helmet <laughs> excited taking pictures nikio mbali hivi mtu hizi joni nani mimi ndio ona joni nani oh yes so they are afraid of camera <laughs> yeah, aya ngilaj ko uno mucha nyama muis magari nji okay ಹಾಂ ಪೋಲೆ ಪೋಲೆ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಐಕೆಲಿ Okay. <laughs> that's so right. Okay, so that is that. Uh, that's all. Right. Let's proceed now. Okay. The red fan, I guess. Okay. The other one is also experiencing Antarctica. <laughs> Antarctica is a new fan today. Okay guys so let's head out and let's go now. I think they've had fun. All right. Guys it's time to leave and see you all killer mut. Bye bye. Ah yes. <laughs> all right guys. That is it. All right guys, uh we are now leaving Flospoa. So hope you all have enjoyed the beautiful place, the beautiful people. They've been really amazing. So let's head back. I think this is the main gate. All right guys, now let's go back and see you all in the next destination. You can see where we are deep in the Kerio Valley. Yes. And this is a deserted place. I think this was a way bridge. Yes. This is a, a, pet, a, a gas station that was really famous a long time ago. But no gas now. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it. That was a close spot. <laughs> that was a close spot guys. Alright. look at this site This place looks interesting This place really really looks interesting How are you? Fine. You are fine. What is your name? Brian. Brian. I'm also Brian. Mimi jene. Kelene. Mimi. Mimi. Kakwano. 
Ano? Oh. Oh, the guy is slightly interested. So let's look at these things. You know, the other part, I think it was it's the same as this where we were. Let's look at this place. So <laughs> I don't know if this is messing up with the environment, but this is just uh, resources that are being looked for. So we can't really complain. As much as they've done this, they've made a lot of millions and they've contrib contributed to the revenue of this particular country and the people around this area have good employment you know what i'm saying yes guys this is this place i think these stones were found somewhere in there <laughs> guys this is crazy what machines are used to do these things what machine cuts those stones but man technology is something crazy and can never question it so I'm told crocodiles are here crocodiles and some other uh, dangerous animals and also I guess that river over there so yes flow spa guys for you this is where they get the flow spa we got the flow spa we've got to we've reached flow spa we've seen the people of flow spa village so this place is called flow spa because of the mineral now I thought there was a name of the village, like the original name, but it is now Flospa. And the mi mineral is fluorite. I think the stone is fluorite. So it's fluorite. So we got fluorite. Alright, you've had some good view. You've enjoyed? Let's do it. So they say they, they observed the environmental guidelines. They do rice recycling, they do good waste uh, segregation and degradation. They do, uh, uh, they basically observe the environment. So, okay, if they say so, we are good. <laughs> yes. So we pray for this place to revive. Probably there's still a lot of fluorides to explore here, which will still help the people of this community and a lot of other things. So we pray for flow spa mining to revive and come back to life. But what do you guys think? Kindly let me know in the comment section down below. So let's go now. Ooh. It's been quite an interesting sight. Been quite an interesting trip today. We've seen some people. We've explored and so many other things. So let's proceed. Yes, guys. So see you all in the next destination. All right, guys. Let's see what you can see here. So this is just the beautiful view of this other side of the rift valley. Yes. The other view of this side of the rift valley. You can see there are thorns all over. So this place uh, or shrubs. This is definitely a semi-arid area. And yeah. Up there are other towns like Cabernet, the town we were yesterday. And the town where we'll be going fully tomorrow. And I'll get to know a lot and get to explore. So that route takes you to uh, one of the biggest cities in, in Kenya. Which is called Nakuru. Which is also part of the Rift Valley. Yes guys, remember Rift Valley is a great, great, great geographic feature. So big, so big. Again, reminding you that it starts all the way from Middle East. So that's Middle East. A rift valley starting all the way from Lebanon there about coming this way to South Southeast Africa which is areas of Lesotho and Malawi Uganda those Tanzania all those areas have this rift valley but the East Africa really took that name East the Great Rift Valley East Africa because probably there's a lot of phenomena or there's a lot of deep great or like very huge uh, uh, rifts and val the valleys yes so yes let's proceed today is all about good times so let's proceed guys
So grandma is okay, but grandma is having some chronic cough. Eh? Grandma is having some chronic cough and it's because of a smoker. So I'm telling him, I'm telling her she needs to reduce smoking. You know? She needs to reduce smoking. But now I've checked her, her, her chest is okay, everything is okay. But now she's coughed and she's complaining of waste. So the waste, I'm telling her she needs to do a bit of stretching if she can because it will really help with making the chest at least be used to good flexion and movements and those things. But she's insisting she wants at least a cough syrup so that her chest can be okay. But now, I don't know. So, so you just maybe have to, you just, just give her a cough syrup that you tell her. Because this cough syrup so mainly, I'll ask them when I get to a good town. So let's just give her this, but she's okay, her pressure is okay. Every other thing is okay. I need to write a prescription. Gogo? Why should you get an animation? I'm asking her if she should use a spoon or what she will she use. I find my pen, as I would say. Ah, yeah. Ah, did you get now? Mm -hmm. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Can you use some I'm taking out the big tablespoon. Eh. Yeah. For 15 minutes. Much in in the konyek did you get a in I can get at least because I think the big spoon is 10 ml. No, so go 5 ml. Ramaji, you 15 ml. Ray, 15 as boy, 15 lunch, and 15 journey. Did you get now? I'm not sure. 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 Aye. Aye, so Aye, so. Aye, so. Okay, that's grandma. It's the child is crying. What? Okay, ni ni kwani. She thinks she's crying, but why is she crying? Okay, our next person is this. Kikuru ningo. Kogo kikuru ningo. Kaine kongo. Kobilo. Kobilo ngo. Kobilo. Kobilo chemno. She is Kobilo Chemno. Age X. <laughs> Age. <laughs> uh, can you say Kobilo? 65. 65. <laughs> she is guessing. She is guessing her. She is guessing her age because a long time ago they didn't used to get your. You don't get your real age. Yes. Can you get there? Can you have some more? Taking some water. You give me. Give me some more water. Aye. So next. Kuru no. Kuru no salty limo. Salty limo. Aye. Let's listen to salty limo. Okay, so. Alright guys, uh for speeding. Okay, this is Mr. Mrs. Mrs. So Sorty. Mrs. Sorty. Mrs. Sorty is okay. She was just complaining of her eyesight of blurry vision. She sees a long distance and when the person is far, she cannot see. But the person is closer, she can see. But we'll need a review of some line, some she might need some glasses, but generally she's okay, no problems. So her pressure, very normal. Ah, okay. So that is good for her. Yes. Suppose I make a net, Karen. Oh. Yeah. 
So yes guys, this is a so eh kule kule ne village ni Waon. Waon. This is Waon village. W A O N. You know? Waon village in Soy Soy ward in Keyo South constituency in Elgeyo Marakwet County, Rift Valley, East Africa, Africa. Yes. And this is grandma, this is her, this is her, we've seen everybody. These are students, I want them to work hard. Mtasama kwa bidi? Work hard. Unta kakua nani wikuwa mkubwa? I'm asking her what she wants to be when she grows up. Unta kakua nani? Eh? Doctor? Good. Sasa zama kwa bidi? Chukua tu masomo freestyle, eh? She wants to be a doctor. So unasikia English? Yes. Now I want you to take your studies lightly. Do not take it seriously. Okay? If you take it seriously, itakua mkubu kuingia kwa gitu. So, so, lakini ngi... Ngi, 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 relaxan gitu yo, agi, agi match in night tukun. Kau soso. Soso? Tute. Soso. I'm telling them, they just need to take it easy. Usum, kau, kau kasi English? Kau kasi kia? Kau kasi joki dog. Kau kasi kasi English? Yes. So, I want you to take it easy. Soso? Saya iku somonet ni, ni besi kumuimu kapsa. Somonet ni agoi, agoi, agoi fomfo korak. Yota. Kumuimu. Kau tak lazat ikut sosok laki ni, doh kue mutu muzuri, mesti apus iwe kapsa. Sosok, ada yo basic education ni, pada primary ko teratin kapsa kapsa. Sosok, ayah high school ko iwe di level lagi, muzi naik tu kunci chemistry, muzi muzi ji, ingen ko hidrogen ini, so iwe di iwe di metode ko nama tu kunci jo, anggi wajib university anjun ko canggat tu kunci. Sosok, ada sosok anjun inyoru inyoru knowledge. It's good to have knowledge. So so so. He was good. Mati was good. Lamu kamu awun mama. He was good. Eh, I'm telling them. If they go to school, they don't go to school because mom told them to go to school. Who is school? Ukita ka kujua what? Go to school for your knowledge. Amu taratin in future. In the next ten years, ye ko mutu amana sana ukio na masom. So so. Atamu tu anasa ma. Wacha uya onge. Zabu uya uya. Ingenki. I'm telling them, even in a congregation, the learned person is the one who's chosen. So, so man ko bidi. Na si san, mati tagas ke, usiji, do not stress yourself in school. Just take it easy. Enda shulio ki fraia. So, so, usi enda shulio kasirika. I'm telling them to go to school when they are happy, not go to school when you are sad. You wake up, you say again, to school again. Iyo, machute ki metit. <laughs> so I'm telling them when they go to school like tomorrow is school again, they will learn nothing. And we went to school with the it was lunch is angry. I'm telling them when they go to school when, when they don't have the motivation to study, they'll just be going and looking for the teacher looking at the teacher and asking when is lunch time. So go to school with the with for your own purpose. So so you want to be someone in future. Usi some kusabi amzazi, mati some man amu kamu wana amzazi. Tell them not to study because the parents says you go to school. So so so, this guy is a candidate. This guy is doing his final primary exams so that he goes to high school. Sindio? Yes. So pia wewe, mati mati lazimishan gay, mati angi lazimishan in kuchut pumet so so. Giri laksan kitu yego chi free 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 kule. It is, they listen, they know English. Yeah. Now, we don't let your mind be so rigid. Rigid go. So, 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 relax and get your mambo in a Zuri. So, so, aki cham kila kitu. Aki rari kila siku. Pai vai tu kila siku. So, so, I'm telling them to be happy every day. Amu, ngi vai vai, ko relax and yagot medit. So, so, I'm telling them if you are happy, even your mind relaxes and you are able to learn a lot. So, so. Yeah, we enjoy it our idea, telling them that will help you. So you guys, when you go to school, you study because of yourself, okay? Do not study because of your parents. And you just, if you have a goal like you, you want to be a doctor, you work hard. So, so mo kabi di kama kuna kitu kuelewa, enda u revisit wangali. Eh, ma ma na is kile tu nenu. Hmm, telling them if there's something you read and you didn't understand, go and see what is needed. I mean, just have that. Add to learn. So, go on your hamu ya kujua. Yo ni tik. So so, good. So so yo mute mute kashula me mesau. Ame mengi apa me toke apa. 
I'm asking them, uh, has it gone through the right ear and <laughs> exited through the other ear? So, you've understood me? You've understood? Yes? You've understood? You've understood? Yes, good. When you go to school, you work hard. So, good. Muto school English. Okay? Ako sai inye mami we are not focusing on. Do you want to be a business? Unta kwanza biashara sai? Yes. Wewe we kitu iko kwa kili yako sai ni masomo. Okay? Yeah, I'm telling them, do you want to be a business person now? So you cannot, all, all in, in your life, say, go education. Mami, you can me my shayak. So, so, ni masomo tu. So, so, eh, amu, atutaki kufanya kitu. Utaki kwa mbunge. Utaki, as in, wewe ni masomo tu. So, so, akifika hapo mbele, ndo kitu ingine nakuja. Kazi, unafanya, unatafuta pesa. Say, wewe, yakuna. So, when the parent pays your fees, he or she is just trying your best, their best to give you knowledge. So, Saidi, so help them to make their work easy. As the end, I use a to sell their land, to sell their farm produce, and then you bring zeros. That is not, that is, you're wasting. You better stay at home, Ulime Bas, not to my Indian at song. Okay? I'm telling them if now they go to, they waste their parents' money, they sell their produce and they bring zeros. <laughs> they rather then come home and we farm and we bring, we have maize. But it will be a problem because you'll be, you'll be not have, you'll not be having knowledge in your mind. You'll not be a smart person. So always fight to be a smart person. So so, no ukwe mtu unangangana ndo, unatoka uku, unayenda uku inje kusai afu naleta mahali uku. So so, hiyo ndo inakitu inafai na kumotivate. I'm telling them that should motivate them. You working hard, going out there, and then working, and then bringing development to your home. So, so. But if you just become this ordinary person, you will just be here. Uta, 20 years, you will story na story. You know, I'm telling you, if, you're, if you don't work hard, every day you will just be making stories with, Shosh, with grandma here. Okay? Yeah. Go, go. Go, 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 I'm telling grandma. grandma. You can tell the kids who are not serious with education to be serious, but she's saying there are kids whom you tell and they are not listening. Eh? So, so, so you guys work hard. The future is yours. The future is not for your mom. The future is not for your dad. The, no, okay. The future is yours. And do not people dist do not let people distract you. Okay. There's a lot of things in this current world. Do not let that happen. Your main focus now is education. If you can go to school, what else? That is, that is, you need to, ata mutu kikuja hapa ule, analuza tu, umtu zanenda shule, eh, ata ana case ten. Because that is okay. Okay? All you need, I'm telling them, when even somebody comes and asks, is this kid going to school? Ah, then the person is happy. So, education is very important. So, yeah. Na zi lazima usome ukue pilot, nini, ah, ah. We kuwa tuna knowledge ya kutosha mzuri. Ata yu high school, isa. But kama weni mutu mependa kukunua a lot, who is the mind to progress? So, so, I'm Telling them even just the high school knowledge is very important for your life. But always have skills. I'm telling them skills is the one that employ you. Sitting in an office, nobody will employ, will tell you come and give me my office. No. But if you know how to do something, your skill, people want your skill. So if you have a skill, it's very important. You'll never go hungry. All right, guys. Uh, I've been talking to them and I've been telling them the, what they need to do. So, hope they get it. If they take it, it will help you. <laughs> if you take the information I've given you, hey, you will go far. So, Aki, I swear, you just become serious with yourself. Hey, that is it. Do not, do not work for somebody. Work for yourself. Okay. Alright guys, so that is that. We've given some girl child education. And avoid distractions. Distraction ya muta muta. Avijana vijana punguza. So. Nini nini na get help ya. Mkikuwa kubwa pana sugua. Walitana wajamaliza shule. So. Uko na nyaka ngapi? I'm telling you, when they grow, they grow big, they don't disturb the underage girls. <laughs> And the underage girls should not listen to those boys who are telling them stories. Okay? Okay. <laughs> because they'll mess you up. They'll mess you up. And you'll not progress with what you want to be. Okay? 
Alright guys, so let's pack our things and there's, a, there's another person they want me to see. There's a grandpa here who's old and is uh, non hypertensive. So we'll go there and from there I think that will be it. <laughs> but I, I usually say that will be it and then we we'll still find other cases. So from there I think we should be able to wrap up. <laughs> yes, so let's go. Uh, here with me I have Mr. Nathaniel. So Mr. Nathaniel is a 65 year old man who's complaining of a bit of he's a non-hypertensive and uh that's complaining of some chest according to his breathing you can ah so so you can listen to his whiz you can listen to his congestion in the chest so they were saying they were, they were using some drugs here ah so so hydrorasi eh hydrorasi this one is for wounds Make a paste with water, apply in your wound. Pack me down, Daishu. Pa, moek ju. Then it's for, for mask, mix with water, apply first. You can leave it overnight. It stings immediately, but it's not dangerous. Taratin? Taratin? Ah. Tuku na lak. Hmm. Tuku na lak. Ngen, tuku ju, chape kutio pig, so. Hey. You know. People just make these things for business. Uh, this one they say, relieving anti-inflammatory, preventing diabetes, maintaining health, protecting the stomach, improving stress, reduce, regulating blood pressure, strengthening immune system. So soup, graviola, eh, is the fruit of Amona muricata, a type of tree native to tropical regions of Americans. Okay. Easy in bag, dog, because in matunda. It's a fruit, oh. but I don't know this fruit. If you know this fruit, then tell it. Glen uno, Glen Tasafia. Ona sema, Tasafia. Lakini muisho we, muji la sabos ina igole. Miga si biju. Yes, yes. Eh, ma 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 ni ni sana por ma ma wajali sana. Eh, I'm talking about the end of the day. These people are in business. Soya, soya kawaida. Yes, soya this. This one I know you can use. Soya these beans, any proteins. <laughs> so so, especially ne? Ne? Eh, guys, this do not. In the video, do we need more like? Can you repeat your money? Ingen atinyagi ne? Gilaji kolle kolle kotora tin kolle ille okay. Ah, can you tell me? Eh. Gimme gimme so so. Am inye ingen tukuju? Am inye inye machungwa? Eh, am inye ah. Magingen, yeah, matunda, I go. Matilen, a million me America. Yes, guys, his chest is quite congested. Yeah. Yeah. So his chest is quite con con congested. I think he's a, he's a, he has once been treated for tuberculosis and he had some history of TB. He's not on any medication, he's only on prednisolone and piroxicam, which is a painkiller, but he has taken some amoxiclav and stuff. But now she needs some, he needs something to open his chest. Suppose I need to check you at the target. And I need to get a gum. You got a gum. Lakini, I need to get a gum. 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 I need to open his uh, chest walls and bronchioles and all those things, uh, air passage for good air passage. Because guys, I think you know how asthma works, or most of you know how asthma works. It's all about uh, vasoconstriction and vasodilation of your alveoli, bronchioles, all those things. So he is having that problem. Hi, right, can you get pressure? Let's see his pressure, and then you advise him finally. So guys, she's also complaining. Her name is Selina Tum. 
She went to an hospital. Sarah, oh Sarah, I guess it's Salina. So Sarah is complaining of low, right, right lower abdominal pain. She went to this hospital. They're querying uh, acute appendicitis, and of course, also me. I think I'm querying acute appendicitis. So to rule this out, we need an ultrasound. So that she'll need an ultrasound and she'll be okay. He'll be okay. Him, we'll have to give him. His blood pressure is quite on the high, and he's using some medication. So I want. I'll take his pressure down right now, and then I'll write him a note that he will take to a district, a government hospital, he turn or somewhere. You go take, and the doctor who saw you, me doctor in the me doctor in the jungle garden, bus. If you know, he takes this letter to the doctor who normally sees him, and he will know. Now, now I go let. Suppose I want to go target. Suppose I I only mama only, you know. So we'll take to the doctor who's been seeing him, and then the doctor will review. I'll, I'll suggest and write an advice. So I'll advice on reviewing on his pressure medication and reviewing of considering giving him a vasodilator for his chest that will be used when necessary. PRN. Ngegoni njipa tagete me ba ishe gila ba ishe li wakati una itaji. Aba gila sigo. So so. Ngegoni. So so. Lakini na muzi ribiti ya bagorista. Winding me. Eh. So, so that is it for him. So let's go write him a prescription and we are done guys. It's late. That's the mother of the home. She's leaving home for for the posho meal. <laughs> they met me at the shopping center and he was like, no, let's go and see my husband. My husband is not really feeling well. So let's give him a nifedipine start, a 40 milligram start, sublingual. And from tomorrow, he'll, be, he'll continue this anti-hypertensive that he used to use. But he monitors his pressure after every every day, after every two hours, after every after he has administered himself the antihypertensive. In three days or four days, if the blood pressure doesn't come below 160, he will take a note that I'll write him. He take it to his doctor, and the doctor will review and see what will happen. Also, I'll write on reviewing of the chest, further review and advice on a vasodilator if necessary. It's good for him just to have it because you don't know here can be cold and then you become congested and have this difficulty in breathing. Who will you will rush you to the hospital? So please, it's good to have that vasodilator if you're a non-asthmatic or you are a, you're prone to congestion. That is it guys, so let's go. Time is up, we need to go, we need to get a room. We need to get a place where there is network because we can't go to the same place we were. There's no network, yes. And we need to upload yesterday's video because we didn't upload, so let's do it. We didn't because of network. Here, network problems. All right guys. Let's do it. Alright well, guys, these are not. Is a tupono tumo. Is a non asthmatic post TB treatment. Is a non HTN and low fat on H. Uh, uh, chief complaints is DIB and tiredness, difficulty in breathing. On exam, he has a distress, bronchi present, BP quite high. Plan and uh, diagnosis and control HTN with uh, queried and controlled asthma. Uh, that's diagnostic treatment. Nifedipine 40 mg start SL. And uh, advice on a dilator and advice on keep advice on keeping on. That's my signature, that's my registration number. Okay. All right, all right, beautiful people. Uh, we've already arrived at this particular house or home, and uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I don't want to really show much because it's quite untidy. <laughs> it's quite untidy, you see. Yes, but this is where the night will be spent, and yes. Thank you so much guys for watching this video up to this point remember to like comment subscribe we've paid around um we've paid uh, three dollars for this particular room so tomorrow we'll be proceeding to this amazing gorge and hope you guys will like it, it it's so amazing so can't wait to catch up on that so thank you so much guys for watching this video remember to believe in your dreams work hard and always pray of course and slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be isn't it yes so until the next video guys kindly see you subscribe to the channel if you haven't and all will be great i wish you well i wish you an amazing week and i wish you a very productive week isn't it yes so adios muchachos and peace peace all right guys